Now, this is, um, it's a little late, but this is the December Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing, I guess. Um, yeah, I just didn't get around to making a video for it yet, but it did come about, uh, I think it came on, like, New Year's, New Year's Eve, so it did come a little bit later than expected, but there is the holidays, so I can't really blame them. Um, first off, I do like this bag. Um, it's, you know, sparkly. The back's, like, a leather. It says Ipsy on it. And then it's got this, like, sparkly sequin thing. Um, alright. This is blush in the color Skinny Dip. Um, from Finding Ferdinand. Laritzi Cosmetics, this lip gloss. Um, I do like the color. Um, I don't see any, like, name for the color anywhere on the box. Oh, in curve. Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara it says 96% said lashes look stretched, 96% saw dramatic volume and length, 96% um, saw plumper looking lashes, 100% saw full, fuller lash line. Results observed in a customer consumer panel survey. Um, lash changing power, blah blah blah. Super volume, length, and elastic stretch. It transforms your lashes. Okay. Um, nude eyeshadow, nude beach. I like the packaging. Um, is that the color? It's bootylicious. Um, looks like a little eyeshadow, or I guess you could do like, other things with it. A little makeup brush, pointy at the end, so this little grip on it. And I thought this was lotion, but um, it's actually um, hair, hair moisturizer. It's um, Artico? Or like R Plus Co. High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream. Cream Hydration and Brilliance. It is, um, it says work through towel dried hair and air dry or blow dry. Doubles as a leave-in conditioner. Okay. There's that. Okay, let's start off with, um, I'm going to go with mascara get it open I didn't want to rip the packaging kind of small but it's what you pay for Just a normal straight mascara wand. It kind of smells like cookie dough, but also like wet paint. Don't have anything reflective. Okay. I'm gonna do the other half of the mirror. Well, I have 
done the mascara. And if I was asked to recommend a mascara to a friend, this would not be it. I do like the way it looks, but it kind of clumps together and it, uh, it dried very quickly. That's probably why it was clumping so much. So I do like right over here, but it works but it was not my favorite. All right, um, next up, I'll use this blush. Um, this is the Skinny Dip. Not sure where they double packaged it, triple packaged it, quadruple packaged it. Oh, that's why, all right. It's not very sparkly, maybe a little bit of like a sheen. Um, I guess it's to stay in this package. Well, I guess I will use um, my fingers because this brush is too small. I don't really use blush, so uh, I don't know. I do like the color though. Oh, that's not so bad. If someone asked me to re recommend my favorite makeup product, it would not be blush, but other people like blush, so if you like blush, maybe you'll like this. Um, let's see. This is Nude Eyeshadow, and um, this is the Bootylicious. They have, um, it looks like, like maybe like a skin color chart for like which which um, eyeshadow you should use for your skin color, maybe. Because they do have you put that in, your skin color, your eye color, and your hair color. And then what kind of products you like. So, that's probably what it is. I like that, though. That's, that's kind of convenient. Looks like my colors are either Bootylicious or Brazer. Brazen? It's Brazen. And um, the lightest one is Brainiac and Brave. Next lightest is Brilliant and Babe. The next um, color is Built or Bold. Next is Bodacious and Breathtaking. And the darkest color is Buff and Bright. And this is the Balm Cosmetics. So yeah. Oh, it says Bodacious on the outside too. It's by the Balm. Um, I guess I'll be using this brush here. Farah 35E. Okay. It's like metallic. I feel like it's cold. Um, well, I will attempt to apply this while looking at my phone. I like the color. Nice. I like that. I usually don't like the darker ones because it's easier to mess up. But I like this one.
I like it. And the brush did its job. Nice. Um, next up, I've got this, what was it called? Curve by Laritzi. It's, um, just lip gloss, it says. It smells really good, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like, like cake. That's what it is. Birthday cake smell. I'm liking that color. Yeah, I like this one too. It smells really nice and um, I like the way it looks. It's not too, it's not too bold and that's how I like my lip makeup. So I usually, I don't like to wear too much makeup, just like natural. Usually I just do eyebrows, sometimes lip color. So this is good for me. It's not too tacky. Like, it seems like it's just right. Probably wouldn't dry out my lips. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I, honestly, with all the products, I'm not sure how long they're going to last, but... I mean, I do like it, yes. It's a nice, nice smell, nice texture, nice color. Alright, last thing is this um, Shine and Moisture Cream. And it says to use it after you've um, towel-dried your hair. So I'm going to go do that now, and I will come back and um, see how this works. I'm back from my um, shower and washing my hair, and I just used water since I'm going to be using this conditioner, and I've already washed my hair recently. So I wanted to kind of see how the results are versus my regular conditioner. Um, I've towel dried my hair. And all of my makeup pretty much seems intact. I mean, I really love the look now, especially that I've seen it in different lighting. And it is like a pretty much a full look, like this blush, and then the eyeshadow, the mascara, the lip color. Like, it seems like it brings it together. I am just gonna do like this dyed part here, where like the roots are, like just like the bottom half, because. It's really only where it needs it. It just smells like um like conditioner, like fresh rain or something like that. And we will see how it looks when it is dried. Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry. I just used like my hair dryer diffuser. Um, it smells nice. I like that. It smells very like fresh water, ocean mist, rain, rainforest. Um, I don't really think it's. It, it is. It is softer. I don't know if it's done much. It, it does say moisturizer though. It doesn't say like it's a styling aid. So, um, yeah, it, it does make it softer. It smells nice. I do like it. I've used this product before, so I liked it then as well. But I would say, I mean, I recommend it. Um, so, I mean, I think I would recommend most of these products if asked. Um, yeah, so this is the complete December look for Ipsy, and it's very, it's like, it's a very, like, innocent, like, 
pink look here. It's very like light and like, yeah, the pink and it's not too bold. And I do like it, I love it actually. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. I did not reapply yet since when I applied, applied in the, um, the video. So it's held up pretty well. I mean, it's lasted through a whole shower and like drying my hair and getting dressed and everything. So yeah, I like that. So there are, here are the products and here's the bag and yeah, I, I like it. Um, I'd say five stars out of five. So, yep. See you later.